Ano ba 'yun? 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 Dami ano, no? Mm-hmm. May nag-like. Ang bilis, di ba? Oo. Okay, so inaabangan talaga nila. Okay. Okay, kayo na lang natin sinabi. Ano kayo na nagpo-post sa akin? About this one. Oh, may mga giveaways tayo. Random ano lang. Kita ko sa mga. After, as in, pag-end na lang tayo. As in, like, to encourage them to keep sharing up and after the night. As in, after the life na, di ba? As in, like, pag after natin nag-end. Exactly. Okay. Well, let's talk about the other two. Kaya... Let's talk about the other two. Wait, tissue ba tayo? Tissue pala? Yung dry tissue? Okay. 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 Okay.
like the eyebrows. So you can see them. Ang gano siya. And then eyeshadow. And then, dun sa face. Last na yung lipstick kasi takalat eh. As you can see, oh, natanggal lahat ng powder and foundation that I used. And then, lipstick. So, so, no more. No more makeup. But if you're at home, I suggest you use a cleanser afterwards. So, I usually use yung hydration facial wash. And then, every other day, since I have oily skin, ito favorite kong gamitin. Pati ng asawa ko. <laughs> Itong exfoliating facial wash. Kasi, na, na feel ko talaga na natatanggal yung oil. And if you have, like, if you're acne prone, um, mas na, na cleanse na yung pores. But I don't recommend using it every day, especially if you have sensitive skin. Kasi talagang, um, it, it makes your, parang natipot din yung skin. So, um, although for me, ako, sometimes I use it every day. <laughs> sa umaga, itong um, facial wash. So, sa gabi, yung, um, exfoliating wash because I have so much makeup every day especially if I have an event kailangan ko ng mas strong na wash so this is what I use but if you're traveling I suggest you bring this one because it's very handy if you have no water you don't need to have any any because ito medyo wet, wet na siya. it's a wet wipe but it's really meant for for removing makeup and then, if you also have time, toner. But if wala, you can go directly with the other prep for the skin. So the next one is the serum. So this is for tightening of the pores and it, it produces wrinkles. So sobrang konti lang naman ang nilalagay mo yan, like, like this one. Ginagawa ko, forehead, nose, cheek, and then dito. And then after that, you spread mo lang siya. What I like about this, kasi sobrang ano siya, light. Hindi siya heavy and mabilis siyang maabsorb. Ang ayaw ko sa mga ibang like creams that you put on your face, parang they're not meant to, to have makeup on them. Kasi sobrang sticky and so sobrang thick na. And when you put makeup on, parang nag-slide yung makeup. But this one, wala. Parang ngayon, it's, it's quite dry na. Don't have to. Yung iba, nilalaga pa ng fan. Para mag-dry siya. Okay. And then, the next part is the Dermo Science Hydration. Okay. So, maraming katulad ko na skeptic when it comes to um, moisturizers. Kasi, since I have oily skin, before, I thought na dapat hindi ako nagma-moisturizer. Kasi, mas, la mas lalo magiging oily. But, I realized na the more you don't put moisturizer, the more na yung skin mo, magkikreate ng more oil. Dahil, feeling niya, kulang ka ng... Kasi, since you strip it up with mga facial wash, sinanggal nila, syempre yung oil and sebum, and then, pag hindi ka nag-moisturize, magkikreate pa ng more oil yung face mo. So, importante mag-moisturize. Kahit na oily yung skin mo, you just have to find the right moisturizer. So, this one. And this one is only available in, currently in Lazada. So, everything here, guys, those who love sales and makeup like me, it's 30% off. In Lazad, as in right now, until November 10. So, 
yung mga Sanatec lovers here, ito na ang chance ninyo <laughs> to buy all your products. So this one, ang gusto ko pa dito, aside from being a moisturizer, it's it also has SPF 30. So hindi mo na kailangan mag sunscreen after. Kasi parang sunscreen na din siya. So konti lang, yung nalagay ko. So same kanina, nung nag-dry na yung serum. We'll put this one. And then we blend it. And I would always tell most of my friends now, lalo na yung mga hindi mahilig mag-makeup mag or maglagay ng products sa face, sobrang importante ng sunscreen. Before, when I started out, wala kasi ako hindi ako marunong mag-makeup. Prior to Binibini, um, hindi talaga ako nag-makeup. And um, I was working sa site since I'm an architect. So feeling ko, parang since morena ako, uh, sabi ko, naku, yung skin ko, ano yan eh, parang, uh, uh, tawag dito, hindi sensitive. <laughs> so, kahit nasa sun, sabi ko, okay lang yan, di ako, sa mapuputi lang naman, nagkakaroon ng freckles, yung mga morenang katulad ko, hindi naman naapektuhan ng, ng sun. But, yes, now, narealize ko yung mali ko. So, ngayon, meron ako mga spots sa face na hindi ko na matanggal. <laughs> Because, before, hindi ako nag-sunscreen. So, medyo, kaya siya enlighten, but, hindi talaga siya totally matatanggal. So, I, so while you're young, put on sunscreen. So, okay, so, oh, hi to everybody. Hi, Le uh, Leo Lopez. Okay, and to, ano, may mga gusto ding, actually, if you share um, our video and use the hashtag Lazada PH Excellent. We just have a chance on winning um, our prizes for today. Kaya mag-like lang kayo, mag-share. And baka kayo yung maswerte yung uh, mag-uwi ng Celetech products. Okay, so now it's dry. Now we move on to makeup. Foundation. Ako, mahilig talaga ako. Um, I always um, choose yung mga liquid foundation. I feel like it's more natural compared to just um, powder or cream. Mas, for me lang, mas ano siya, mas hindi halata. Pero yun lang, and, um, it, it gets something, parang kailangan masanay ka. Yung iba kasi feeling nila, it's, it's super hassle. Pero ito, sobrang dali lang. So what I do, para din siyang moisturizer. Ang maganda dito, yung packaging, yung iba kasi messy, like the pump, and yung mga nakalagay sa parang jar, I feel like it's super messy. Pero this one, para lang din siyang sa moisturizer. So, you squeeze mo lang siya, and then enough lang. Hindi masasaya yung product. Tapos hindi pa parang hindi siya madumi gamitin. So, ganyan na konti. And then what I do is that, I use a brush, but you can also use your fingers. How can you buy si Lovely Gonzales? Sa Lazada. So, it's, it's easy kasi um, in, uh, with Lazada, you don't have to register. You can be a guest or you can also use your um, Facebook account to register. And then you just click, put it in your bag, and then you can choose to pay in different methods. Pwede credit card, pwede PayPal, pwede then cash on delivery. So, if you're afraid, na baka hi, like, hindi dumating yung product mo or anything. At least you're sure na pagdating niya on your doorstep, saka mo pala siya babayaran. So yun yung maganda. And they also ship nationwide. And free shipping. So, yung mga walang time na pumunta sa mall and to buy. So dito, sobrang dali lang. As in, basta may computer ka, may internet ka. Pwede ka na bumili. Okay, so konti lang. And I think that, but you can also use your finger. Like this. Konti dito. Usually, inuuna ko yung forehead, nose, and then dito sa chin, and then cheeks. 
Tapos, saka ko siya biniblend outward. If you don't have the uh, cream na meron ding SPF, this one, it also has SPF. So, hindi ka na mahihirapan na um, maglalagay ka pa ng sunscreen. Tsaka ang importante, you find the shade that is right for you. Sometimes, nakikita kong problem sa mga sa ibang girls. Maganda yung product, maganda yung coverage, but then the problem is they get the wrong shade. And it's important that you find the right shade for you para mukha siya natural. And don't forget to put foundation dito. Kasi pangit na makikita mo yung line na iba yung, iba yung color dito. Iba yung color dito. So, importante. Huwag ka salimutan yung ulit. Okay, so, nalagay ko na yung um, foundation. And next, you can skip this step. Pero, for those of you na may dark under eye circles like me, ako kahit hindi po ako puyat, talagang it's natural. <laughs> it's natural, talaga po siyang ganyan. Pag tinatanong ko ng mga tao, puyat ka ba? Hindi po. Talaga pong, I was blessed with dark under eye circles. So, ang maganda dito, meron siyang parang bum that you put on under your eyes para it it reduces puffiness and usually kasi ang problem natin with under um concealer sa under the eyes nagkakaroon ng mga parang wrinkles afterwards kasi nagki-set doon yung makeup so this one para mino moisturize yung yung skin mo here para when you apply the concealer hindi siya magkakaroon ng parang lines so let's put it So, konti lang. Para siyang, para siyang, para siyang lip balm. Actually, yung feel niya. So, you just put a little bit under the eyes. And then, after that, let's put the concealer. So, ako, ang ano ko, when it comes to the shade, you always get... Um, the concealer a shade lighter than your foundation. So, gusto mo nga, ito ng highlight sa face mo. So, um, deep shade to highlight your face. So, the tip of it is the natural outfit. So, may mga questions. Ito ang question po, ano yung shade? Sa akin, ang shade is the deep shade. And uh, if you like, again, I, to all the viewers who are watching us, if you like and share the uh, uh, video, you will get a chance to get would use the fingers for ako. Parang feeling ko mas mali. And then, I put it under my eye. Kung mapapansin nyo, it's lighter than the rest of my face. And then sabi nga, you, you, para daw mawala yung parang dark circles. And yung highlight. Gusto nyo ma-highlight ito. At mawala yung yung it has to See, parang wala na ako compare to my own eyes. I'm going 
get to try. So, we're lucky that this one is to your face. I have to set the padlock. Put it in dito, so I'm going to lose the pills. Just hold it. I'm going to lose it. Because usually, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Do you want to lose it? And then... Here. So, there's a dark spot down here. Okay. Okay. So after our liquid foundation and our concealer, um, the next step is the setting powder and the loose powder. Super important yun, kasi if not, magsislide yung makeup. Never forget the step. And so sa matag, we have this micro-hydrating powder. Ang gusto ko sa kanya, super, ano siya, portable, tsaka hindi siya messy. Kasi sometimes, whenever I do it, tapos I bring like a loose powder. Sobrang ano na siya, lahat ng product na kalabas niya. Ang daming kaya. But this one, um, I-churn mo lang siya and yung product lang, kung ano lang yung gagamitin mo, yun lang yung lalabas. So, parang freshly, ano siya, parang siyang pepper. Yun o. So, yun lang siya. So, yun lang yung gagamitin mong loose powder. So, yung iba, ginagamit nila ito. Ito ko, I use a brush. And then, I tap it para hindi masyadong wala na yung product. And then, coffee uh, brush. Kasi dagdabi ko lang siya. So, kumaulit na ang, uh, ng konting powder. And I dab it like this. Para, di ba ginaganon? Para hindi siya, hindi siya mag, parang buo na pumunta sa face mo. And then you dab it on your face. And dun sa under eye, usually, naglalagay pa ako ng more powder, loose powder, para maset yung concealer. Brush. Tapos, I dip it in the loose powder. Tapos, dadagdagan ko lang yung sa under ng eye to set the concealer. So, I'm done. <sighs> ano pa lang yan? <laughs> foundation pa lang. But I think, super important na tama yung foundation before you go to other um, makeup products. And, ayun, oh. So, hi to Catherine, Espayos, to Anne Rivera, Kiajon, and uh, Jalea Masote. So, if, if you have any questions, kung may, may gusto kayong um, tanungin, Regarding skincare or makeup, just type your um, questions and we'll try to um, answer them. Okay, so we're done with the foundation and the powder. The next thing that I would usually do is the contour and the blush. I don't know, sometimes people would normally do their eyes first. Pero ako, mas gusto ko na parang tapos yung face and then saka ko pumupunta sa eyes. So here, Celetech has to ano, um, blush and face contour kit. So, meron na siyang for contour, for the blush, and for highlight, for highlighting, so highlighter. So may iba pa siyang shade. Ito naman feeling ko, itong pink shade. Bagay ito sa mga mapuputi. But ako naman kahit di mapuputi ginagamit ko rin. So up to you. Kung ano yung feel mo. But usually mas bagay talaga yung pink shade pag mas 
um, lighter skin tone. If you are like morena like me, I would recommend that you use this shade, medyo parang peachy orangey. So, pero if you have two of these, pwede mo silang pakaluin. <laughs> Kasi minsan ginagawa ko yun eh, nagkahalo-halo, nagmimix and match ako ng, ng mga shades para to achieve whatever shade that you want. Okay, so let's, so I'll use this one because I'm, si morena ako, so ito yung gagamitin ko. So let's start with the contour. So I will use a contour brush. This one, medyo tapered brush. And then, parang you can use on any other brush as long as um, kailangan ipakita yung cheekbone. So, ganun din, dun sa darker shade. And then, gagano ka lang. So itong line na to, ito lang nalagyan mo ng contour. And, huwag sobrang dami. Dapat, um, paunti-unti hanggang ma-achieve mo yung gusto mong shade. So, kung gusto mong magmukhang payat sa picture, ito yon, Ito yung daya na pwede mong gawin. So, here, and then if may excess ka, I also put um, contour here sa may jawline. Para mas ma-highlight yung jaw. And then here. See? So, para mas magiging payat yung face. And there's the jaw line. Kung pa-adjunct makeup, nose line. Hindi mo kailangan magpa-surgery para magkaroon ng matang sa ilo. Nose line lang yun. So what I do is that I get a small brush, tapos dun sa darker shade pa rin, ilaline mo lang yung Ito yung difference. Tama ko sabay yung ilong ko. <laughs> Pero wag din sobra ha. Yung iba kasi talagang dapat biniblend. Kasi sometimes, yung iba nagno-nose line. As in, may linya talaga. So, no, no, no. Dapat biniblend nyo yung shade para talaga mag magmukhang natural. Okay, so, I have my nose line. And then the next step is the blush. So nilalagay ko siya usually dun sa taas lang kung saan ako nag naglagay ng um, contour. So let's use this shade. Basta pa, wag masyado madami. Basta magsa-smile ka. And then dun sa apple. And the secret to this is really blending, blending the shade, blending the, kasi yung iba, nakikita ko, talagang bilog, bilog na bilog, so, hindi siya maganda tingnan, <laughs> kasi sobrang mukhang parang medyo clownish na, di ba, so, it's very important that you blend it. Ito na, sinasobrahan niya. Is nasobrahan, what I do, is I get a powder. So, ano yung ginagamit mong powder? And then, papatungan ko lang siya ng konti. Para mabawasan yung blush. Okay. So, I'm done with my face. The next part is the oh 
So I want to say hi to all to everybody who's commenting here on Facebook. So if you have any questions, don't forget how to write your questions here kasi malay nyo, alam ko yung sagot. Basta ano lang ha, skincare and makeup, mamaya mask or ano, hindi ko masasagot yan or love problem ako. Huwag ako. Huwag ako ang tanong yun. Okay. So, I'm done with this one and then since everyday makeup, usually I don't put um any eyeshadows, pero um sometimes um kinokontour ko din yung sa eyes ko. So I also use the same thing, the the blush and face contour kit and then yung pang-contour ko sa face, yun na rin yung ginagamit kong pang-contour sa sa eyes. So, may may maliit akong brush. And then um parang dito na sa taas, sa parang sa eyeball, sa taas ng eyeball. So I contour using the face contour kit. Para magkaroon ng parang deep set eyes. So, you can see, ito yung merong contour, ito yung wala pa. Siguro sa everyday makeup, pag kayong gagamit ng blue ha, mga eyeshadow. Iba kasi mahilig mag, mag blue or like super dark. Siguro during pang evening out, okay yun. Pero during the day, mas maganda mag-stick with the um, neutral colors like browns and beige. So ito, pwede mo na rin eyeshadow. Tapos, sometimes, pati yung blush, bini-blend ko rin siya para magkaroon ng konting um, buhay yung eyeshadow. Bini-blend ko lang siya. So, make sure pantay. You have to check. And I suggest whenever you're doing your makeup, um, you find a white light. Huwag kayo dun sa yellow light. Kasi sometimes, wrong yung color. Tapos pag lalabas ka ng bahay, sobra palang iba nung itsura mo. So, kailangan tama yung ilaw kung saan ka man nag-makeup. May eyeshadow na ako. And then, the eyebrows. Kasi, sabi nga nila, kilay is life. Okay. So, paano nga ba magkaroon ng magandang kilay? Ang pinaka-importante, so, umpisa pa lang, well-groomed na yung eyebrows mo. So, if may mga excess kang um, hair or anything here, um, Tanggalin mo na siya para malinis. Para madali din i-drawing. And then, usually, I would use um, itong sa Celetec na eyebrow defining kit. Meron silang parang um, tawag dito? Uh, powder type and a gel type. Sorry. Nag-lag. Okay. Powder type and a gel type. So, ako, usually, nagalagay mo lang ako ng powder and then pinapang-define ko lang yung um, gel. So, I would use yung ganito klaseng brush. Very thin and flat. So, I get the eyeshadow first. And then, actually, sinifill ko lang yung part na medyo parang nakakalbo. And I suggest you try to follow kung ano talaga yung natural line ng eyebrows kasi ang hirap kasi kapag iibahin mo pag hindi ka pa marunong mag-drawing hindi pa mas mas hindi magiging pantay so yun lang i just try to fill in the parts dito kasi yung part na medyo uh, wala akong hair eh. so doon talaga ako naglalagay ng eyebrow powder so yan so and then, I'll do it on the other part of my, ano, the other brow. So, actually, hindi talaga yung pantay. 
I mean, sometimes hirap hirap tayong ipantay. Hindi kasi na pantay. Unless you bless ka with identical eyebrows. Ano, swerte ka. Pero ako, mas mataas to kasi dito. So, sometimes I just try na ipareho siya. Pero pag hindi naman, okay lang. Hindi naman halata. So, sometimes I I put more here sa taas. Kasi mababa to eh. And I think this is the right shade for for eyebrows. Kasi yung iba, sobrang brown or black. Never use black. Please, never use black. Unless pupunta ka sa Halloween. Pero never use um, black eyeshadow or black um, pencil for your eyebrows. Use, always use brown. Huwag din yung reddish brown. Unless you have natural um, red hair. Kasi halatang nag-growing ka. Here. It's talaga mahirap eh. Actually, ito nagmamadali. Ito yung pinakamahirap gawin. Yung key line. Kasi kailangan mo, titing- kailangan mo siyang tingnan na pantay siya. Okay, now, okay, so this one, meron pa akong mga kont- So, I, I will use a gel. Kasi may part pa dito na medyo more, gusto ko na more definition. Sa dulo. Hi! Okay, si Flora! Nahihirapan ako magkilay. First timer po kasi. At least may alam na ako sa pagkikilay. Wow, thank you. Alam niyo nung first time ko din magkilay, sobrang hirap. As in, nakailang bura ako dahil <laughs> weird siya. And especially before, when I started in Binibini, sinaved nila yung kalahati ng kilay ko. So, I had to draw the other half. Isipin niyo yun. So, pwede ako maglagay ng pataas, sa baba. <laughs> So, sobrang, nahi, sobrang nahirapan ako, but through practice, and yun nga, siguro if you know somebody na magaling mag, mag gumawa ng kilay, pwede mong ipatrim yung, yung brows mo sa kanila. And then, um, every time na may tutubo, ikaw na lang magtatanggal. So, at least meron ka ng parang pinaka-guide. Kasi alam ko talaga kung gano'n siya ka-overwhelming, especially if ever since hindi hindi mo inaayos yung kilay mo. Parang hindi mo alam where to start. So, I feel like, if you're gonna do it on your own, parang, huwag masyadong abrupt yung change. Siguro pa onti-onti, magbawas ka. Pero, kasi yung iba, sometimes, sa sobrahan naman ng bawas, matagal, matagal tumubo. <laughs> so, and sometimes, iba na yung tubo ng hair sa eyebrow. If, if lahat tinanggal mo, nag, iba na siya ng direction. So, I suggest, um, be careful, uh, wag agad-agad magtanggal, parang paunti-unti un- until makita mo na oh, ito yung gusto mong shape. So, so yun. Um, ano pong magandang gamitin brown or light brown para sa, ito, I think it's the perfect shade. I, kasi ako, I have naturally dark um, eyebrow hair. Pero, hindi naman halata, medyo may parang brown-brown siya. And I feel like mas maganda na medyo light lang yung gamitin para hindi kasi some, I feel like pag sobrang dark nung um, ginamit mong shade, nagmumukhang strong masyado sa face. Unless you're gonna put on um, a full makeup na with, with lashes and like eyeshadow. But if for everyday, I suggest yung lighter brown ang gamitin ninyo. Do you still, do you still use pencil? Actually, if you have this one, hindi mo na kailangan. Kasi if hindi enough yung powder, you can use the gel to define yung areas na feeling mo um, kalbo. Okay, ano pa? Yun. So, like a lot of girls, I know it's hard to find time to put on makeup and 
have skincare uh, routine every day. Pero um, as long as you know what to do, hindi naman siya ganun kahirap eh. And if nasanay ka na na ginagawa, ginagawa mo to every day and you make time for it, you will have time for it. So I suggest you, kung overwhelming for you, um, ano muna? Skincare. Doon ka muna mag-start sa skincare. And kapag naging habit mo na yung um, skincare routine mo, from cleansing to toning to moisturizing, then saka ka mag-add. Like, mag-add ka ng makeup. Like, today, gagawin mo lang is foundation. The next day or the next week, if you're comfortable na with putting on foundation, you start with um, your uh, eyeshadow or your your eyebrows. And after a while, hindi ka na mahirapan. Sobrang it's gonna be like part of your everyday life. And of course, uh, let's not forget um, lipstick pala. Okay. Kasi super important. Ito, super favorite ko. <laughs> Mahilig ako sa mga chubby na, na lipstick eh. And I always go for matte. Although maraming mahilig sa lip gloss. I don't know, I feel like pag naka lip gloss ako, parang oily <laughs> yung feeling. I don't know. Just, that's just me. Pero mas gusto ko yung mga matte lipstick. And this is my all-time favorite sa Celitex. The matte lipstick and in the shade of nude. So this is my everyday lipstick. Ang gusto ko sa kanya, I have naturally dark lips. So yung ibang lipstick kasi, masyado silang translucent. So, uh, Kailangan ko pong mag-concealer sa lips or kailangan ko pong mag-lip liner. But with this one, ang ganda ng coverage niya. Tapos parang matagal pa siyang ma... It's long-lasting. So kahit kumain ka, meron pa rin. So this is what I use. So as you can see, I'll do the other lip lang here. Oh. I have like dark lines here. Pero pag ginamit ko to nakakamuflage siya. So, hindi ko na kailangan mag-lip liner. There. So, sabarang easy to, uh, to apply. And, Okay, so, ano nga ba yung pink beautiful campaign na Celitex? So, sometimes we feel like when we're like working very hard or studying very hard, parang we don't have time for anything else. Especially, um, looking good. And we always parang judge people na yung mga laging nakaayos, parang sila laging na sila nagagawa. Or yung, yung mga ang daming nagagawa, sila yung parang haggard para. Hindi naman kailangan ganyan. You can, you can do both, meaning you can do well in your in school or at work. You can be like talagang masipag and you get to do everything that you want in achieving whatever goal that you that you have. Pero you can still look beautiful at the same time. Meaning, if you take a little bit of your time, siguro sabi natin 15 to 20 minutes every day, at least you can still look and feel beautiful about yourself even though you're busy as, as a working uh, in work or in school or as a mom if you have kids I know how daunting it is na parang mag-makeup ka pa ba? eh, ang dami mong gagawin may baby ka pa so ako, I always tell girls and, and women in general na it's okay to pamper yourself because if you feel good I feel like you get to be better at whatever you're doing. If you're, like, diba, parang, it will come back to you. So, it's important that you feel good about yourself. So, isang part dun is looking good. And feeling good. So, guys, don't forget to um, like, comment, and share this uh, skincare and makeup tutorial. And, um, we have ex exciting um, freebies for everybody, and uh, I hope you get to learn something from me. Uh, anong shade nga po? Anong, ano yun? Yung lipstick? 
Ah non, nude. Nude. Is what I mean. If you're asking the shade of my foundation, it's um, deep beige. Korean darkest, I think. So, bakit nga ba Celotex? Um, beforehand, you know, ako, very, uh, mapili ako sa makeup and skincare because madali ako magkaroon ng pimples. And prone talaga yung skin ko to have like blemishes and all. So, I'm very careful with what I put on my face. And ever since naman, Celotex, I, was, I always trusted this um, brand when it comes to skincare. So, kung sa skincare pa lang, tinatrust ko na siya because it's um, non-comedogenic, it's, it's uh, wala siyang fragrance that can irritate your skin. And then now, they came up with a product na pang cosmetic. So, at least sure ka na whatever you're putting on your face, it's gonna be good on your skin. Kasi a lot of times, we use makeup to conceal yung imperfection ng skin. And sometimes, in for for a short time, nakakatulong siya. But for long term, mas nagkaka-pimples, mas nagkakaroon ng mga um, blemishes. Kasi nga, dahil dun sa mga ingredients, dun sa makeup. Kaya kasi sabi nila, nila palate, never forget to take off your makeup when you sleep. Kasi nga, na-absorb siya ng skin. But since Celotec, has been doing all the skincare products ever since. And they've been making a lot of products na talagang made for, for people. Like, they have different sets, like for, for those with dry skin, for oily skin, for acne-prone skin, like me. Um, you can be sure na kung ano yung um, ginawa nilang, uh, like when they made the products sa skincare, na-infuse din siya dun, dun sa makeup line nila. So you're sure na hindi ka magkakaroon ng allergy, or hindi ka magkakapimple. Kasi actually, yun talaga yung pinaka-main concern ko when it comes to makeup. Nung magkaroon ako ng pimple. So alam ko agad, pag hindi okay yung makeup. Pag sinuot ko siya, kapag nilagay ko siya sa face ko today, tapos the next day, pag gising ko, may pimple na ako. So alam ko na, okay, never to use that makeup again. So with Celotex, never pa ako nagkapimple. So I hope those who are suffering with acne and, and talagang adult acne pa, uh, I suggest you try. Baka makatulong sa inyo. And at least you can still wear makeup. Kasi sabi nila, yung iba kasi takot mag-makeup. Dahil nga, yun nga, they, they feel na mas mag-worsen yung, yung ano nila. Whatever blemishes that they have. So ito, baka you can try and mag mahiyang kayo dito. At least you can still be beautiful, di ba? Even though if meron kang um, imperfection sa face. Pwede mo i-highlight yung maganda i-conskill yung pangit. So, yeah. so, again, thank you for watching and don't forget to share this video. Use the hashtag, hashtag LazadaPHXCelitech and I hope uh, may na-share ako sa inyo and always, ano, make time to to, uh, to pamper yourself and to be beautiful and feel beautiful. So, thank you for watching. Bye. Hi. Ganun pala 'yon, parang